Right lads, so today we're going to try to derive the quadratic formula, right? So the first step that you are going to have to use is you're going to write the equation, the general equation of a parabolic function, which is given as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is our starting point. We are going to rearrange this equation to get the quadratic formula. So the first step would be basically to divide a on both sides of this equation. We're going to do that. Once you've divided A, you are going to have the equation that looks like this. C divided by A, we're going to move it to the right-hand side of this equation. So once you do that, it's going to be a negative. It's going to become negative. And we need to introduce a variable, not a variable, but a specific number to render this left-hand side. We, we're going to have to basically do a completing the square, basically, because we want to render this as a perfect binomial and you'll see why in a moment why we have to do that but the long story short is it makes it very easy to solve for x so we need to introduce a term so we can get it as a perfect squared binomial and the term how to find the terms are basically used through the product sum method b divisor by a is our sum right it's what the x co it's the it's the coefficient in front of the x term which is b divisor by a and the product is one times the question mark, right? So you are going to have the question mark. So what gives you b divided by a? b divided by 2a plus b divided by 2a gives you b divided by a. So those, those are our terms. And if you're going to use them for the sum, you must use the same terms for the product. So you're going to have the same thing, multiply. And when you multiply b divided by 2a with itself, you are going to have the term we we're looking for, the question mark term, b squared divided by 4a squared. Right, so you're going to take this term, substitute it in this equation on the left-hand side and the right-hand side respectively. These are equivalent statements, right? Very important. So what we have over here, lads, is a perfect square trinomial. And what we need is a perfect square binomial. Two terms. Bi means two. Right. So we, what we're going to have to do is bx divided by a, we're going to split it as we've done over here, as b divided by 2ax. We're going to split it. These are equivalent statements right here. And we're going to factor it, we're going to separate it into two terms. So this over here you're going to look at, and these two fractions you're going to look separately. Right. So for this, for this term right over here, for this group of fractions right over here, we're going to factor out an x, because they basically have an x in common. And on the second group of fractions right so we're going to factor out a b divided by 2a because they both have a b divided by 2a in common and you are going to notice is that x plus b divided by 2a squared so we, we what we did over here is we converted the square trinomial into a perfect square binomial and this is what we want basically because to solve for x right now it's very straightforward all you lot have to do is square root both sides of this equation and when you do that what you are going to have is this and when you square root something you are going to have the positive and negative version of the value basically so you can have two solutions and that's why we have to put plus or minus we are then going to move b divided by 2 on the right hand side of the equation so ultimately we have x on the left hand side where we want it but to make it look like the quadratic formula what we have to do is basically multiply 4 divided by a in the numerator and denominator respectively we can rewrite the equation as follows on your screen with a common denominator and then the last step is basically take this 4a squared square root it and move it outside the square root and when you do that it's going to be square rooted right so you are going to have 2a and therefore you're going to have a common base and ultimately we have derived the quadratic formula so if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later